everybody welcome to the video my name is Scripps in this series I'm going to teach you how to train okay your own artificial intelligence for games okay so I'm going to teach you how to train your artificial intelligence to detect enemies inside of games okay and then after some time you're going to be able to also track enemies okay using your mouse all right here then is my video I'm going to teach you how to actually do that now before we actually get to um the whole video portion of this, I will tell you that on my Discord server, I am making a tutorial series in there. Over there is the same thing. Everything you see in that series over there is, is everything I'm gonna be talking about basically, okay? This is written. So over here, you can actually read through everything and follow at your own pace, okay? In this video, you can also follow at your own pace as long as you pause the video, okay? So I'm basically gonna go through each step over here, okay? So um right now you don't have access to this yet but you're gonna be able to download by the end of this video right as soon as you actually watch this video right you're gonna be able to download a file which is gonna be a zip file okay um that's gonna be available right below this video okay so as soon as this video comes out it's gonna be right here and then you're gonna be able to download a zip file this zip file contains everything you need to begin okay so i'm actually gonna show you what the zip file looks like right now So I already extracted it, but this is what it looks like. Okay, so it's gonna be AI tutorial. Okay, so you're gonna open that file, and inside of this file, you have four folders. Okay, you have a your game folder in parentheses, you have a resources folder, you have a tracking folder, and you have a training folder. Now, these two folders over here are empty for now. For now, they are empty. Later on, I'm gonna be giving you another zip file with the actual apps you need inside of these two folders. Okay, and they are apps that I have created. Okay, they are gonna allow you to track and train. Okay, um, but for now, you're gonna actually, um, all you need to worry about is your game. So let's actually go inside of this folder over here. I recommend that you go to my Discord server and you download um, this, this zip file, okay? So, so you have access to everything right away. If you don't want to, it's okay. You can create a folder. Okay, so just create a folder called your game. So of course, you actually wanna replace this to the name of the game, okay? And what do I mean by that? Well. We are going to be training your AI for a specific game so that you can detect enemies in one game, okay? I'm going to be actually making this tutorial based off PUBG. However, you can make it based off anything. You can train with any game. I'm going to be doing PUBG because I feel like it's one of the hardest games um, due to distance, due to the, the different lighting that PUBG may have, different environments and everything that may be occurring in that game. You can, of course, do it in any other games such as Fortnite, um, let's see, Overwatch, many different games, okay? I would say actually Overwatch may be one of the hardest games too. But of course, that just means that you need to train more. So let's actually get to the business. So over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename this file, over, this folder over here to the name of my game. So now it's PUBG, there you go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside of it. Inside of this folder, you now have two folders. So you should be creating right now, if you didn't download this, you should be creating two folders, images and labels, okay? You already have this, of course, if you downloaded the zip file, but if you don't, then create these two folders over here, images and labels. Inside each one of these two folders, okay? You wanna have two more folders called train and val, okay? So I'm gonna go inside of images and over here I have train and val. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go inside of labels and over here I have train and val, okay? And I'm gonna to explain to you why we need this later on, but for now, just go with it, okay? Okay, now let's get to the next portion, okay? So let's actually go to Discord and follow along. So over here, we created those show folders, nice. And then now I'm gonna tell you that next step is gather images. So that's what we're gonna do right now, okay? All right, so right now, as you can see, I'm in my browser, okay? And what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be searching for videos of PUBG, okay? And basically, every single time I see an enemy in a video, okay, I'm gonna be taking a full screen shot, okay? And I'm gonna be saving that image into um, PUBG images in train, okay? Um, there's a few things that you need to keep in mind, and I'm gonna go through each one of those things with you. But basically, the first thing you need to keep in mind is, you need to make sure the enemy is clearly visible which means you need to be able to find the enemy, like you as a person, you need to be able to see the enemy in one second of looking at that image, okay? If it takes you more than a second to actually spot the enemy, then that means it's gonna take the AI a very long time to train because of that. You're gonna be making um, the AI's life very difficult. 
So to make it easy on the AI and on yourself, you do want to actually get easy images, images that have really good quality, images that the enemy can be very clearly seen, okay? Just for the beginning, of, of course, over time, the AI is able to actually even detect um, enemies that have, um, they are behind trees, you know, they are peeking behind trees, I mean, they are peeking behind rocks, but for now, you don't want that. For now, you just want it to be able to detect enemies that are clearly in front of you or clearly in, the, in their uh, FOV. There's several videos here that I can actually realize. So let's actually get some of these videos. Now, your goal, let me just clarify, your goal is to have around 100 images, okay? Now, make sure those images are all JPEG. So .jpeg is the format you're looking for, okay? If your image is not JPEG, you're gonna have problems. Make sure all your images are JPEG. Make sure all your images are the same resolution. The resolution should be equal to this, the resolution of your monitor, okay? Just to clarify that. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm actually gonna go to the first video I'm gonna use is tomographic over here. So I'm actually gonna click on this guy over here, this video. Okay, now first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the quality to be good. Now you don't then the quality does not need to be the highest, it just needs to be a good quality. So I'm gonna set 1080. Okay, and then I'm gonna click full screen. I'm gonna click play. Okay. Um I'm gonna put the audio off. And it seems like he's gonna detect an enemy here right now. So, oh no, right now, perfect. There's two enemies on the screen right now, okay? So we can see one enemy right here, and we can see another enemy right there, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing right now is I'm gonna take a screenshot. So I'm gonna open my snipping app. Okay, now I, of course, I actually have a key bind for this, but I'm just gonna show you guys what the process is. I have a key bind. So I usually just press the key bind and it goes, but I'm gonna show you manually how it works. So I'm gonna click over here on full screen mode. I'm gonna click on rectangle mode, okay? For the snipping tool at least, your app may be different. And I'm gonna click on new. And now I'm gonna select the entire screen. I don't know if you can actually see this, but I select the entire screen. You can see it right here, okay? On the snipping tool, this is the snipping tool app. You can see it right there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save it to that folder that I just showed you guys. So as you can see, I click save as, okay? And then I click over here on PUBG, okay? Images train and save okay perfect so that's what you're gonna be doing okay so now i'm gonna close that off and i'm gonna again click play on the video okay and now i'm gonna do one more time now i know this kind of the same fight but you can take multiple screenshots of the same fight just don't take multiple screenshots of the same time just take multiple screenshots of the same fight because, you know, the angle different. There's a different angle now. There's a different everything, right? The weapon is not exactly on the enemy, right? So you want to take multiple screenshots of the same fight, um, fight. And that's why it's actually very easy to get to 100 images. It takes it might take you around uh, 30 minutes to get to 100 images, you know, if you're quick with it. So I'm going to take another screenshot right now. Okay, there you go. And then I'm gonna right here and then I'm gonna click save as. Now, of course, I actually do this a little faster. I have a key bind that just takes a screenshot right away and I can just, you know, save it very quickly, but I'm just showing you the process. So the enemy is right there. I can clearly see the enemy of the screen. Okay, the resolution of the screenshot is my entire monitor. Okay, and I'm gonna click save as again. And I'm gonna bring to the same folder. The name of the screenshot does not matter. Again, the name of the screenshot does not matter. You just want it to be .jpg, okay? Make sure it's .jpg and save. Boom, okay, nice. Very good. Now let's skip a little bit and let's go to another fight. So let's actually skip like to this part over here. As you can see now, there's a different lighting, okay? So that's what I'm talking about, lighting. You don't really think about this when you're playing the game, but for an AI, everything here is important. So this is a different environment, it's a different context, there's a bridge right there, there's a bunch of different trees, um, the angle may be different, um, the lighting is different, the ground is darker, things like that. So that's things that you need to think about, okay, when you're training. So let's actually see if there's any enemy on this portion of this video right here. I don't want to bore you guys either. So I'm like, oh, okay, I think there's an enemy somewhere around here. So that's an enemy. Now the problem with this is that this enemy is inside of this car. It's still an enemy, so I am going to take a screenshot of this because the AI should be able to detect that this is an enemy inside of the car, okay? Um, after some time, it's going to be able to detect that really well, but for now, it's fine. Let's just go to the snipping tool one more time. I have it open. I'm going to click new. I'm going to select my entire screen. I'm going to click save as. And same thing, save. 
and close okay so you're getting kind of an idea of how it works okay i'm gonna skip a little more now this is really good so i'm actually gonna show you something in this portion of this video right here he's gonna use a scope and that's very important so you need to keep that in mind too different scopes different weapon designs things like that could throw off the ai so you want to get as much diversity in your image as you can so this is a different lighting he's behind a tree now you know there's many different things happening right now in comparison to earlier okay uh so that's an enemy right there it's very hard to spot that enemy you know personally for me it would take me more than a second to spot that enemy uh in a game so i'm not gonna take this image you could actually take this one out now you can kind of spot that enemy but i'm gonna see if i can get a better one okay and he the enemy died so i'm not even gonna take that image let's just skip okay this is good okay so that's actually too fast so this uh, this part right now is good so as you can see right here i'm gonna pause there's an enemy behind this car right here there you go right there and that's very good so you could actually get a good that's not very good quality you want to get a good quality that's that's perfect so i pause in the correct time you can clearly see the enemies in, in his scope right now so i'm actually going to take another screenshot Okay, I'm gonna click save as and save. So you kind of get an idea of how it works. I'm gonna just do two more with you now so you can um, just, you know, get comfortable. And then after that, I'm gonna just kind of skip through um, the video to get you the next part. Now the enemy right there. That enemy is really hard to see, so you don't want to get that image just yet. Later on, you can, but for now, you don't want to get that kind of image. It'll be too hard. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. So you will, you can get that. As you can see, the enemy is a little bit obstructed by the grass. But the AI should be able to detect this is an enemy. The enemy is wearing different colors, things like that. And there's a different lighting and everything. Again, for the AI, everything here is numbers. So let's get that. And let's click save as again. And save. Very good. So now let's do one more. Let's actually go to another environment. Very good. So this is a different environment. We have houses now. We have many different things going on. <clears throat> now, this, um, this is very interesting. So as you can see, there's a down enemy over here. And I could actually screenshot this. I personally don't want to... I, I don't want my AI, my, my um, training, to detect um, this down enemy. I don't want that. I, I honestly don't like that. But as you can see, in this image, there's also another player right there. Okay? I don't even know if the actual player that's recording this video notice it but there's a, there's a player right there okay but i don't want you to detect the down enemy okay so that's a player yep so what we're gonna do right now is this player is kind of hard to see right but for me it's very easy to spot it for you it should be true because we're players right so for the ai you know after some time it's gonna be able to spot that so i'm actually gonna take a screenshot of that i'm gonna click save as i'm gonna click save and that's it so we have finished the um, together process of this. From now on, we're going to do it alone. So from now on, again, we already have 10 images. I want you to go ahead and get 90 more images, okay? Um, so again, you want to have 100 total images for the train portion. So you want to have 100 images in the name of your game folder, um, images and train, okay? And then we're actually going to get 10 more images for another portion, okay? So let's actually go ahead and go get your 100 images.